Yo, what is up, Explorers? Okay, so we're back at it. Different style video here. Today we're going to be compiling not one, not two, not three, but I believe four videos into one. This is uh, four houses on this abandoned neighborhood that I spent two months documenting. Uh, all the houses are since demolished. Um, and these have been posted by themselves, but I just, I, I don't know, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try and do like a compilation video. So there was 14 houses in total. I was able to do 13 of the 14. The one we missed wasn't that special really. Anyways, it was a bungalow. I checked some old real estate photos out. It was nothing crazy. We didn't miss anything. Um, so uh, in this video, the first two are my favorite two on the street. And then I included one that has two houses in one. And then a third one, I included a bungalow, uh, one of the bungalows of the street. I believe there was three. I did include one, just so you get an idea of the different styles of houses. So basically this development, I'm going to give a little, little history here on this development. It's interesting. So this street and all the houses on it were built by the same builder back in 1988. Um, these houses brand new were around $300,000, depending on which model you chose. So for example, the first house you're going to see that's the biggest model available in said development. That one was around 320 grand brand new. Um, and then the last house you're gonna see was around 290, $95,000 brand new. So um, they range from about 3,000 square feet up to 6,000. So first house was about 6,000 square feet. Last one was about 3,500 square feet. Uh, all built by the same builder. Uh, every one of these houses had a brick over on the front of the house by the garage that was stamped with the builder's name, Westford Homes. And uh, yeah, so interesting. Um, they were all bought out in 2020, ranging from three to $8 million, depending on the property, some got more. Um, and uh, yeah, by April, 2023, all but one of the houses were vacated and boarded up. All of them were demolished by the end of June, uh, early July. Um, and the one house that wasn't vacated at the time, they, uh, I forget the exact reason. They, it, it was something to do with the, the tenant board and the rental thing that they legally didn't have to leave or something. Uh, they ended up leaving around end of September, early October. Uh, I did explore that house. It has been uploaded here in the last couple weeks. Um, but that house has since been demolished and they're all gone now. The road has been all dug up. You would never even know this was a neighborhood. It's all just a dirt field. So... Anyways, I just wanted to throw this compilation video together, try something new. Like I said in yesterday's intro that I wanted to do a video a day this weekend just to try something out. And um, after this, there probably won't be a video until Wednesday, so three days from now. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know some of you, probably a lot of you have seen these houses, but some of them were posted back in like May or June, so a while back and maybe... You want to refresh maybe you want to check them out again maybe you haven't seen these houses at all and you want to check them out again check them out rather for the first time so uh with all that being said just wanted to give some information like i did in yesterday's video too I'd like to keep you guys up to speed uh up to date uh so that's it um we're gonna jump into the video now though okay so again hope you guys enjoy it uh, if you do make sure you hit the like leave a comment down below and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button okay so, uh, long video, but believe me, a fun one. So, uh, I'll see you guys over on Archer Hill Court. Hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, guys. So, front door. I was in here once in December, and I didn't film it. Regrettably didn't film it, and I thought I was going to miss it, and I didn't. So, here we are. Front door's gone. I don't know why they took the front door. It was an old front door. Like, really old, outdated. So as you can see, the pink walls, uh, this, I think it's like a shade of, it almost looks gray, but I think it's got a hint of like teal or blue to it. So nice tile in here. I've done a few houses on this, in this area and they've partially been renovated or fully renovated. This is the first one that I've seen that's completely original. Wow, look at the wainscoting. What a gorgeous room. Just 
keeps it all boarded up. Nice hardwood floors too. Like real old hardwood. Well, old as in 35 years old, I guess. Here's your intercom. I like these old white blinds. That's cool. This is probably like a den, I would think. And then look at this staircase. Is that not beautiful? And then look at that. Wow. Incredible. There's oak. Beautiful. The doorbell with the gold on it. Look at the, at the, the waviness of the landing up there and just the curves. The architecture back then was so cool. Lots of natural light here. Would have been more if this wasn't boarded up, obviously, these two little windows. So your front room. Don't know what this would have been. Probably a family room, as it has the big brick fireplace. Very easy to gold. I know it's not actually called gold. There's a word for this, and I'm drawing a blank. Um, that's nice. I love brick, like dark brown brick. It's really a me thing. So this was only a one owner house. House only have had one resident from new to when it sold, which is pretty cool. Absolute time capsule. My idea of a time capsule, that is. Some people's idea of a time capsule is like a house with like everyone's belongings left behind. Nah, to me that's just a hoarder's mess. And I think it's gross and boring. Look at the old hangers. Oh, the old Gen Air book. Wow. That is so cool. That's from when the house was new. That's incredible. Another brick fireplace. French doors. This is probably the main dining room, right off the kitchen. That is beautiful, man. Light fixture's gone, and you have your molding up there. Let's just look at this before we go anywhere. Oh, it's flooded. Shit. Shit. Ah, oh, well, what are you gonna do? That's too bad. Looks unfinished anyways. Other than this little landing area. Well, who knows what's back there, though? You have a lot of basement back there. Wow. Closet. Oh, jeez, this place is big. Jeez. Oh, wow, they gutted the kitchen. This wasn't like this when I was here. This was all intact. That's a shame. This is all gutted. Don't know why it's gutted. This was all old cabinets. I don't know why you'd want cabinets outdated from 1988, but...
That green is very 80s. It looks gray on camera, but it's a shade of green. These old floors even. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Look at the size of this pantry. Oh, slippers that behind. Big pantry. Wow. Dishwasher. Look at these. Oh, wow, it's the old built-in ovens. Oh, wow. I really hope they salvage those. That's awesome. And then there's the cooktop. I really hope they salvage that. Some people who buy vintage things to redo their house would love these. There's the first bathroom. What's up guys? This is what the kitchen used to look like. Cabinets look like this. Oh, there's still stuff in here. What's going on guys? Maybe I got an 80s themed shirt on for today. <laughs> so this would have been the breakfast room, I guess, here. Here's a countertop, yeah. Oh wow, look at the old valance. Big living room with a big brick fireplace, another fireplace. Look at the old chair, there's always a chair. That's so creepy. My gosh. Old fluorescent lights. This pink is so cool. <laughs> it's more pink in person than it is on camera. I think the light blows it out a bit. Oh, here's the laundry. Holy jeez, look at this old beast. <laughs> wow. Another access to the basement. Maybe we can see something over here. Oh. No, it doesn't really look like it was finished, to be honest. What's this? A massive closet, holy shit. Sorry for the language. <laughs> That's big. Like, really big. What's this? Oh. You put a board over it. Would have been the garage. Now Albert security, that's really old, wow. There's the alarm code. That's really old. Is that open? No. And then there's a separate staircase. Okay, let's go. Back down this way and go up the main stairs. Oh, wow! Holy, holy jeez, look at this! That's incredible. <sighs> Wow. Wow. Here's your first bedroom, so this one's blue. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Old blue curtains. Here's your closet. gonna shut those because when I'm done filming I gotta take pictures and pictures are better when the closets aren't open. 
even the old light fixture. Like, I, I, this is what I meant, how everything is original to how it was. This was obviously some kid's room. This is absolutely huge. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Empty closet. Look at these old curtains. <laughs> Gosh, that's insanely cool. Intercom, I think every bedroom is probably gonna have its own intercom. That's insane. What a cool place. I love this green. Imagine coming out every morning and this is just the first thing you see. That's just so cool. That's a big closet. Holy jeez. They got it though. All the shelves are gone. Give you a different perspective of that. My oh, master. Holy. This is absolutely massive. Look at this. Fireplace. You have like you could probably put the bed here. And then have it over here is like a little sitting area. It looks like they did. You can see where tables and chairs were. Or maybe the bed actually was right here, it looks like. Oh, that's huge. Look at all the space you would have had. That's massive. You have these old valances of uh, with the flowers. And the blue to match the paint, obviously. And then this fireplace. That's so cool. Massive. That's all there is to say. You could have easily made two bedrooms out of this space, but why would you? You know? Popcorn ceiling. That's a very <laughs> 80s thing to do. You have double closets of the his and her, probably. Oh, wow. I think this is going to be good, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Toilet. Original toilet, because it's gray like the tub and the bidet. But let's get back to that in a second. Look at this closet. It's hot in here. Heat coming in from the attic. Nice color choice for the carpet. Look at that. Amazing. Even the towel rack's got the gray on it to match the bidet and the toilet and the tub. Oh, wow, a sauna. Wow. It's got a little window. Wow, that is, that is too cool. Too cool. Wow. Shower, obviously. The old tile job. What's up, guys? <laughs> Is that not cool? Double sink. Big mirror with the bulb lights. And then the tub. Who someone threw a muffin wrapper in. Oh, it's got jets and everything. Got the old pink valances. Look at this tile. That is awesome. Like so much space just for this, like this like sitting area, like that's incredible. And then there's your toilet without its own little area. That's so cool. Timer, all the light switches. Just like so cool. Here's, uh, what bedroom is this? One, two, three, this is four. Oh, what the heck, where does that go? What is this? Holy jeez. It's a closet. That's amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. I love that. That's a newer light fixture. That could be the only new thing in this house. That looks newer. 
So is it broke maybe? I don't know. Look at that, that's very ornate. Intercom. Wow. The other bathroom. What's up guys? So 80s. Oh my god. I live in this. No problem. Is the same tile that was in the master? I think it is. I love these cabinets. I love this color. Another one of those cool windows. Is that called a port window? Is that what that shape is called? Or am I thinking of the, no, I think I'm thinking of something else. There's that tile again. The yellow is so vibrant. There's the second entrance by the door, by the garage. Probably, I'm guessing this is like a living nanny's quarters right here. So you have a second bathroom with the pink, what's up guys, pink walls, the same tile, same tile here. The toilet paper thing, it's gray. Baseboard heating, yikes. This was not a cheap house to heat. There's the pool in the gazebo. There's plumbing there. This was probably the maid's kitchen at one point. Oh, unless that's the plumbing for the other side where the sink is actually. This does not end. This is huge. This is probably the bedroom. Nanny's bedroom, servant's bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Could even been a, um, maybe they had family live with them or something. I don't know. Closet. Yeah. Wow. I'm blown away. What a cool, cool place. This is gonna be demolished, guys. Like, this isn't for sale. This isn't gonna be renovated. This is sitting here, and it's gonna be torn down, unfortunately. Look at that. One last look at that. How can we not? So let's go do an outro in here, and uh, I think that wraps this one up. What are we at now? Over 20 minutes? Well deserved. I don't think we missed anything. Um, I don't think we did. So let's go in here and do our outro. All right, explorers, that does it for this one. Sitting here on the tub here. Um, this was incredible. Um, as you can see from the way I'm, I'm presented today, I've even got the 80s themed shirt. You know, we, I knew I was coming to do a cool house, at least what I thought was cool. So um, I think it fits, it suits the video. Um, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely did. Out of all the ones I've done in this area, this is definitely my favorite, I think. Um, the fact that it's so original and so untouched is just so cool to me. As you guys know, I have such a cool, just big passion for this type of thing. And uh, I would love to uh, have something like this of my own someday, but the way houses are priced, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to work a little harder. But um, anyways, um, if you guys liked it, I want you to hit like. Um, leave a comment down below. I want to hear your guys' opinions. I love reading your comments. Even if I can't reply to them all, uh, I do go through them. I like them. I, hit, I heart them. Just so you know that I read it because you took your personal time to, to, to comment on my video and that means the world to me. So thank you guys so much. Um, and lastly, if you enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. We're doing this at least twice a week. Adventures like this. Uh, I'm trying to bring you guys only the coolest, only the best um, that I can find. So uh, I think that's it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you explorers in the next adventure.
Peace. All right, I just wanted to update you guys. So the one across the street's completely gone, but the one you're looking at in this video right here, she's half gone. There's the chandelier. The staircase is gone. There's the bathroom up there. Kitchen. Garage is gone. Living room's gone. Incredible. Where are those guys? Completely, well, half gone. All right, guys. We're gonna start in the garage here. Hockey nets. It smells like gas in here. Oh, a tile, spare tiles, big three car garage. I love these big wooden garage doors. Big support beam there. Big garage, huge garage. Holy crap. Massive. <laughs> A sensor light in the ceiling. I've never seen that before. Shall we? Bedroom. Laundry room, I guess. It's a cool countertop pattern. The washer and dryer are gone. Oh, it's, what is this? Hydro rates. Oh, they were that type of people that did the laundry when it was cheaper. That's fair. Hey, if it saves you money, why not? Nice big laundry room. Newer floors, but a completely gutted bathroom. Nothing left, not a thing. No mirror, no toilet, no sink. Oh, just the brush. <laughs> How nice of them. They've been trying to take the trim. I love the oak trim in here. Let's go here. Oh, living room. Big picture window, it's boarded up. But then you got this. Real nice 80s looking fireplace. Parquet floor. Cozy looking couch. <laughs> What's sunk in the living room? Nice. I like the floors. Those are really nice. Ooh, this would have been nice. All the natural light before they boarded this up. So many windows. With this beautiful oak trim. That, go, that door opens outwards, not inwards. That's different. Look at this kitchen. There's the stove for the oven. Seem to be salvaging that. Ew. It's the same marble here that's on the fireplace. Interesting. It's a big kitchen. Nice kitchen at that. Here, got a big bottle of Canada Dry, never been opened. 
nice china cabinet or built-in cabinets, I guess. They took all the knobs off the cabinets. Maybe they were British or yeah, British people when they lived here. Ooh, nice. Probably the formal dining room. Wait, I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything in here. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Potatoes, onion, E. I wonder what E means. Empty? Oh, it probably means empty. Just a... Oh, it's the fridge. I love when they match the cabinets. That's, oh, it doesn't smell good. Should not have opened that. I'm gonna, oh, 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 that's bad. Oh, that was a mistake. Big mistake opening that. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, that was gross. That was dirty. Okay. Wainscoting. A big corner of windows. Oh, the light in here would have been beautiful. Nice hardwood floors. I love the ceilings in here. This is a really nice place. Squeaky hardwood floors, man. They had a nice fixture there. Oh wow, nice. Another fireplace. You can rip up the floors and everything. Don't really understand why. All the trim in here has been removed. What about in the kitchen? Was the trim gone? Yep. Yep. It sure is. Same with the living room. Interesting. Oh, um, anyways. Damn squeaky ass shoes. Nice big rooms. Got molding up at the top. Wow. Look at this. That's a staircase. How far can I back up here to give you guys the best view of that? There you go. Even the front door is oak. Oh, it's so nice. I like this tile here. Closet. Even they took the trim out of the closet. Wow. That one too. What a gorgeous house. With a very flooded basement. Unfortunately. Which we'll get to in a minute. Ooh. Little front, like den maybe? There's a countertop from something. The pattern on that looks almost older. Maybe that was the original ones and they swapped them out. Why would you keep the older ones? I don't know. I'm having a conversation with myself. Sorry, guys. Looks nice down here too, damn. Look at all the, the fireplace over there. Built in bookshelves. What's in there? Oh, that's like all I can see. I don't want to drop my phone in the water. But it's really nice and finished. Look at that. Oh, these oak stairs. Nothing better. Nothing better. 
right. Well, I guess that leads us to going upstairs now. I love this fireplace. Absolutely love it. Okay, guess we should head up. Musty 80s house smell. <laughs> Look at that. Got a trim in here too. Like, I'm going to show you guys something. Two houses there demolished. There's the excavator right there. The house beside this one's demolished. I've already posted that video. It's just insane. Pretty small little closet. Oh, I love these floors. This house is very, seems classy to me. All the oak. All hardwood just gives a very rich, classy, kind of 80s, wealthy people vibe. You know, like if you had this built in 88, you had money. Oh, perhaps a sample of what used to be in here. Pink carpet. These floors seem original though. These hardwood floors, unless they laid the hardwood when the house was built and just uh, had carpet over it. No fancy fixture, unfortunately. Closet. Completely renovated bathroom. Surprised they haven't taken the glass off of the showers and stuff. Mirror's gone, the toilet. Another toilet brush. <laughs> Oh man, these little 80s light fixtures. I think a few houses in this neighborhood have had those same ones. Oh no. Rest in peace, buddy, I'm sorry. All you animal people, I know you don't wanna see that. I'm sorry, but I was in this house once just for pictures and that wasn't there. Oh man, that was preventable. All people have to do is shut the friggin' doors and that doesn't have to happen. I know you guys don't wanna see that. I'm trying my best not to show it. Water damage, which is weird because this house was lived in four or five weeks ago. And the fact that it has water damage like that after sitting for four weeks, doesn't seem very normal to me. Creaky floors. Ay ay ay. I guess that's what 35 years does to you, you get a little creaky. <laughs> Decent sized room. This is a big room. I'd take this bedroom. I think mine might be a bit bigger than this, but I'd take this. If I couldn't have the master, this would be my, I'd call dibs on this one. Hanging stuff. You don't say. I, I, I think generally that's what a closet's for. That's. Really clever of you to say. <laughs> is this the one with the bird? Yeah. Holy cow, this is big. This is a master bedroom. You'd have to get used to that damn creaking. That is brutal. It's like every step, it just creak, creak, creak. <laughs> 
This is a huge room now. Master, nice oak around the windows, big windows. Does this house have a pool? Nope, had a nice deck though. No light wait a minute. You guys seeing this? There's no light. But there's a switch for a light. What? Oh, I guess you would have had lamps or something, because there's no light fixture. What an old thing to do. You guys getting like how big this friggin' room is? Like look at that. Cute little like cloths with flowers and stuff on them. Oh, here we go, big walk-in closet the size of some people's apartment. What's up, guys? This is literally the size of some people's apartment, this closet. I'm not even kidding. Some apartments downtown Toronto, tiny. And you get a house over here with the closet the size of the whole apartment that's gonna be torn down. Like, makes sense, right? Nice logic. Attic. That's huge. Obviously there were shelves and stuff they took down, but that's huge. Oh, baby. Toilet's gone. No bidet, come on. Nice soaker tub with the jets. There's your big tall shower. Oh, I had the rain, like the head, it's like a rainfall straight from above, that's awesome. <coughs> I don't think this is original to the 80s, this bathroom, but it's still very nice. Oh, and there's two mirrors, which means, what's up guys, not once, but twice, what's up? Little bag here with some peanuts in it and some bills that are none of my business. What's this? Please don't have a name on it. I'm just gonna hold this over. Someone's SIM card, their SIM number. This is literally someone's like wallet. I'm not, no. Not my business. Don't know why someone's SIM card is in here though. SIM number, whatever you wanna call it. That's weird why you would leave that. Maybe it was his old one and he has a new one. I don't know. I hope they salvaged more in here though. Probably doubt it. Half the neighborhood's gone. I think they're done salvaging. So anyways, I think that's it. It's a shame this has to go. I would live in this house. Like this one I personally really like. Um, just a quick little scan through, make sure we didn't miss anything. Another one of those lights, they're everywhere. But yeah, that's what was there too, but the fixtures just removed, it's just the bulb. All right, well, that's it guys. That's it. Such a shame this has to go. This is just beautiful freaking house. My gosh. A little dark, isn't it? All right, guys. That's it for this one. Um, I'm gonna go set up to do an outro and that'll do it. So as you can see here, the front door completely removed. It's good to see the re-salvaging things. So this is uh, house two you're seeing of 14. Um, we're gonna try and do as many as we can obviously before they're gone, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, the, the whole development was built in 1988, the whole neighborhood. Um, developer came in, paid about 42 million for the whole thing, and they are coming down. So you come in here, front door, two big front closets. It looks like the place has been redone. This does not look like 1988 flooring or paint colors. <laughs> oh, you got pot lights too. And then you, there's your beautiful staircase. So let's go right to left, I think. Whoa, this room's huge. If 
fireplace. I like the wainscoting. It's really nice. It's friggin' huge. Like the whole width of the house, this room. That's crazy. Apologies if it's a little dark, guys. I do have my light on, but it might not be good enough. So this is probably the living room and the dining room combined, I would imagine. What's that? Oh, tile. Took the mantle <clears throat> right off the fireplace. That's crazy. It is a hot day out today, guys. It feels like 28 degrees. So it's kind of nice and cool in here, to be honest with you. Wow, the kitchen is stripped. Good to see them reusing things. Though, if I'm being honest, that's marble, isn't it? Oh, granite. Like real granite. This would have been huge. Papa John's. <laughs> That's a massive piece of granite, holy. There's the tile that we seen in there. They ripped them off the walls. All your plumbing and stuff. Probably going for the copper. It's got like a little breakfast area up the kitchen. Holy. Let's just board it up. I'll go to the back deck. Nice flooring, like really nice flooring. This would have been a massive kitchen, holy. The date on this is 2009. That's probably when this was renovated, which certainly makes sense. This was very 2009. <laughs> yeah, wow. Front room here. Like a little den. Sitting room. Not very big at all. There was French doors on those. You can see where the hinges were. A little light fixture on the ceiling. So you would have to have a lamp or something in here. That scared me. The wind blowing the supply wood. Jesus. Um... As you can see, the basement is flooded to like a third or fourth step, so we're not going down there. Well, bathroom, two-piece bath. They took the vanity in the mirror, but they left the toilet. Again, the wainscoting is very nice. Crazy to think this is just going to be wiped away like that. <laughs> oh, laundry room, probably. Look at all that copper. Wow. It's probably that hasn't been taken out. It took everything else the doors. So much stuff in here. Rooster. The rooster. Yeah, definitely the washer dryer here. You did your sink there. There's a door that's not gone. Doors. 
Three car garage. Look at all the granite. Holy. Toilet. Is that a TV? Microwave. Oh, the old HVAC. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, let's go upstairs. Purple closet. I like this better. It's a lot brighter up here. <laughs> so like as you can see all of the trees have been cut down here there's a pool it has a pool that's cool I'm gonna try and remember to show outside wow that's crazy Another bedroom. They're pretty good sized rooms, if I'm being honest. Nice closet here. Oh, there's the attic. Can you get a better view here of anything neighbor wise? No. Ooh. It's a lot hotter up here than it is downstairs. Jeez. Nice. Closet still has towels and stuff in it. Like, that's crazy. Like, last time I was around here, this house was lived in. I remember this was lived in last I was around here. They all were, but, like, the one I filmed. So it's crazy to see it like it is now, honestly. Closet. So, um, looks like it might be four bedroom house. <laughs> this would have been really nice in its day. Oh, it still is today, but give you an idea what I'm talking about. Look out front here. All of those, that's just three or four of them out of 14, plus this one, I guess. It's this whole thing, I'm gonna include it in the video because in the event I don't get it anymore, I at least want to show you guys the area. You probably won't see this till this is gone anyways. What's up guys? Here's an original bath. They didn't renovate. This is very 1988. Look at the tiles. <laughs> Tub to match. That's crazy. I'm gonna shut that for my pictures. Double sink. Master for sure. It's pretty big. Oh, nice. What's up, guys? Tub. I like the black. That's really nice. I love black marble, grab black granite. Big glass shower. That's insane. And a big walk-in closet. Wow, that's awesome. All to be wiped away. What's that? Oh, it's the light fixture. Took the toilet in the vanity. But other than that, I think that's it for this one, guys. That's unreal. Okay guys, we're just gonna add this house in. 
It's not gonna get its own video because it's too gutted. And it's just not worth its own video. So here's a three car garage. Um, you're gonna see what I mean when it's when I say gutted. It. Like it's stripped to the core. So this house was also built in 88. Um, but it's, it was renovated in 2015 and they've reclaimed almost everything. As you can see, the garage doors are gone. It's all kinds of stuff in here. Glass doors from like showers, laundry tub. This is kind of neat. These old skis. Um, this is probably gonna be relatively quick though. Old laundry tub, that's original. Yeah, this has been your laundry room. There's a back door. Closet. You can see what I mean when I say it's stripped. There's nothing to it. <laughs> very gutted. Very, very much gutted. Okay, so there's your laundry room. Your garage, that would have probably been your security panel here. And then there's your front door. They've got it taped off the front foyer because there's no railings on anything, which is probably a good idea, I guess, but pretty easy to walk around. That's the front door, or would have been the front door. It is obviously gone. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna start this one in the garage. Uh, so let's see, three car garage. The demolitions have started on this street. So some of the videos you may have seen some already. I'm not sure what order I'm gonna be posting these, but there are two houses on this street now that are completely demolished. They were torn down yesterday. So these aren't gonna be here much longer. So. Here's a three car garage. The automatic doorman. <laughs> I think every house on the street has a three car garage. There's a sold sign. To my understanding, this house hasn't sold in like 15, 20 years. The original owner sold it to the last owner who sold it to the developer. So a two owner house in 35 years, not too bad. There's another doorman, that's an old garage door opener. Anyways. Go up into the house here. So you've got your uh, laundry room, probably. <laughs> or the old alarm panel. Wow. Basement. Oh, it's flooded. Oh shit. That door's gone. Microwave. Yeah, this was definitely the laundry room. Fixture's gone. A little bathroom. They took the toilet. They left the sink. And they took the mirror. These uh, railings, this like oak. That's cool. Access. Oh, it doesn't open. It's, it's a little closet, anyways. Nothing of importance. Wow, it is dark in here. Kitchen's all gutted out.
Nice backsplash. But they took everything out. Yeah, this is a really nice house. Looks like it was partially redone at some point. This looks newer, these pot lights and a backsplash in this flooring, honestly. Ooh, this is nice. Would have had a nice walk out to the backyard. And it is dark in here. All that plywood. Pretty big kitchen. And then of course there's your fireplace. That's cool. They leave anything for us? Nope. <laughs> Vents. Ooh, it's moldy. Nice. Is that double sided? Yeah, it is. Very nice house. I love this brick. It would have your little spot to put the wood. It's also double-sided. That's cool. Oh, wow. How 1980s of you. <laughs> that is so cool. There's the other side of the fireplace. I love this. Man, that is so cool. Like, you have like the blonde wood in between each mirror. And then there's the main mirror. What's up guys? Wow, that is the coolest thing. So that would probably be your main living room, I would imagine. Let's go look at it from over here. Yeah, wow. Pot lights. Oh, oh wow. Beautiful. Definitely your formal dining area. These floors, man, are so nice. They took the chandelier. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's the front door. They took it. Arm panel ripped right off the wall. Here's your double closet. Double doors. So you could have closed this area off. Oh shoot, it's flooded. I think we already established that over there, didn't we? Wow. So nice, nonetheless. Oops, like sunken. Wow. This is really nice. Big high ceiling in here. Wowzers. 
Those windows look new. Maybe we can find a date on one of them. Um, maybe not. They look very new though. Definitely not the original windows. Is that? Wait. Oh. Like, why though? Why would you do that? Weird. Let's see if we can see here. I know we can't go in it, but. How deep is it? So, oh, yeah, it smells like flooded basement. Okay, so the first step's underwater. It doesn't even look like it's finished, although it would be very big, like a very large space. So there could be something down there, but I guess we'll never know. But as you can see, the carpet is like, it's floating. It doesn't look as deep as it is, so, see? <laughs> so that's not an option, unfortunately. Okay. Broken mirror. Look at that old motion sensor. What's up, guys? Ew, I'm sorry, guys. Didn't want to show you that. Just the mirror is all that's left. These floors look very new. What the heck? That pretty much concludes that half. And then we enter this wing. So we have your first bedroom. They installed the intercom upside down. Mm, that wouldn't fly with me. I would literally unscrew it and put it on properly because as someone with OCD, very severe OCD, I couldn't live in this house with this like that. We've got 2019 Playboy. Wow, there we go, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna catch some slack for that, I know. <laughs> nice bay window. Fairly new light. Pretty plain in here. Good sized bedroom, but not a whole lot going on. Got some cleaning supplies. They put a CLR for breeze and stuff like that. Some Javax. And a bathroom. What's going on, guys? What's this? Oh, an ant trap. I'm surprised they haven't taken the copper out of these places. That's really surprising. Here's your tub. And your shower. Weird they would take a toilet out. What's this? Oh, shower. Nice. Oh, well, it's like a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's between both bedrooms. Ant trap on the windowsill. Same light fixture that was in the other bedroom. Oh, uh, look, an intercom that's not upside down. How nice. Decent sized closet here. Maybe you go lose your lucky dime. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles, guys. It is friggin' cold in here. A lot colder in here than it is outside. That's a nice little hook. Brass. I know it's not gold. I was calling brass gold and in a video recently and people didn't like that for some reason. Like, sorry I'm not a friggin' interior designer that knows every friggin' term. <laughs> Those are old. Like really old.
Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Walk-in closet. There's your attic. Pretty high ceilings. I don't know if the camera is catching that. Look how high that is. How about a high ceiling? High, like, roof line. That's not the ceiling. This is the ceiling. Nice closet. Good size. I got some newspapers. What's the date on these? January 11th, 2020. Hmm. Don't know why they cut the carpet up there. Like, for what reason? It's so weird. Uh, I guess we'll save the bathroom for last. Look at this. That's beautiful. Gas fireplace. What is this? Fire. Oh, it's a fireplace remote. Here's the only door that isn't boarded up. Weird. And then I guess we'll finish off with the master bathroom here. So, oh wow. So, a uh, big glass shower. Is that a ladybug? How did that get in here? <laughs> Anyways, nice big glass shower. Beside that, you've got your jet, like, jacuzzi tub. This was really, like, nicely redone, like, not long ago. Like, this looks like it was renovated in the last, like, 10 or 15 years. Let me guess, this is the toilet. Yeah, water closet. I like that. When it's like away from the rest of things, that's nice. And then your vanity, double sink. What's up, guys? No, oh, that's nice. Really nice bathroom. What's this? Uh, Brizo. Oh, it's with the, these taps. I think the manual, how to install them. I think that's it. I wonder why they cut this up. Like, what's underneath here that they needed? Nothing. That's really odd. Really odd. Oh, we didn't go over here. We got the, uh, obviously your intercom. There's a security panel. A very old one. I've never even heard of that company. That's cool. Um, and I think that might be... Oh, what's... Oh, it's just the closet. And that is where it ends. Not bad at all. Look at this. That's a long hallway. Jeez. All right, guys. I think that about does it for this one. So I will see you guys in the outro. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for that one. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is pretty cool. This whole area, this whole neighborhood has just been really fascinating. Again, I'm not sure which order you guys are gonna see these in. Um, so you might see this one sooner or closer to the last ones I post. I'm not sure yet. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, I would love to uh, reach comments down below and uh, hit, a, uh, hit subscribe. And uh, by, by the way, we are past 97K now. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Um, and uh, drop a like if you liked it. And um, that's about it. We're gonna keep this uh, short. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace.